Marco. Uh, we're here at the Fur Rendezvous Saturday morning. Um, everyone has a rig to, to haul dogs, some bigger, some smaller. This is a really unique rig. It's a trailer pulled by a semi, and it's the uh, the rig of Randy DeKuyper from Michigan. We're going to go visit with Randy now. We're going to go around the front. Anybody home? Come on in. <laughs> Hi Randy, how's it going? It's going good. Good, good, good. Well, uh, this is quite a setup you have, a home away from home. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about this rig. Uh, you must uh, spend a lot of time on the road to justify something like this. Well, the past three years we've been out in Quebec, and we had a lot smaller rig. It was a converted bread truck, an aluminum bread truck. I remember that, yeah. The sleds up over the yeah. cab, yeah. Powered with a gas motor, and it just wasn't enough going up and down the road. And I always wanted a diesel. Yeah. So we got the truck first, and then we had to do a lot of work to the truck, and then we bought the trailer, and it was an old library, a bookmobile, ah. full of shelves like these for a hold of books. Right. So we converted it to haul the dogs. Right. And trying to cut back on the number of dogs, I only made 32 individual boxes. And I used to haul 40, because yeah. I could double everybody. So sure. just <laughs> part of us to slow down a little bit. So this is your first Rondi, the first time yes, you've been through Alaska Rondi, yeah. to race of the Rondi. What is it, how has your experience been so far? Well, outside of when I read the interviews in the in your magazine about how you were supposed to train, <laughs> I hope you didn't it. follow that advice. <laughs> I didn't. I should have. I uh, I realized I didn't have enough long miles on them. Yeah. So I was constantly wanting to make sure I didn't let them go too fast so that we could yeah. complete it. Right. And that was that your goal basically to get around all three days. Yeah. And, uh, and not load them. anybody. Yeah. If I can get all around all three days and that's never have to a load a dog, that'll yeah. be good. How many did you start with yesterday? I started with 16. Yeah, and you didn't load anybody? I didn't load anybody. Right, that's great. What or, position are you in? I'm in 20th. Okay, so you're the second rookie? Are you the second rookie? Of no, race? third rookie. Third rookie. Okay, yeah. great. Well, let's take a look at your dog uh, sure. compartments. Drew, you might want to just yeah. kill that. So Randy, these are pretty interesting dog box here. You have a fine mesh there, and then the lower ones actually have a, uh, a bigger grate. Is it one compartment, or are the two separate dogs? Two separate dogs, and it's because they were old doors that I already owned. Right. Rather than making new doors, I just used what I had. Yeah. And I had these stainless steel doors in a school bus years ago, and these doors came out of a, a, a van that I had with a different style. Right. And how is it dropping dogs when you're traveling with having to come in and out of this? Is that kind of a pain or do you loose I, drop? That's what I hate the worst about because it takes two of us to drop them or a lot of getting in and out. Right. Um, but they don't get the road salt. So big, big plus. It's quiet in here when you pull in a parking lot and there are other dogs around, your dogs don't get upset. They don't get upset when a pet walks by because they can't see them. Right, they're warmer. They're right. warmer. The fact is we have to keep the windows open to keep it cool enough in here. Yeah. Do you have, um, <clears throat> do you feed the dogs in the boxes in here? No, I don't, but I could. You when could. it's raining, I probably will. Right, right. Like in Quebec, at least one race during the year, it's raining. Yeah. So that'd be nice. And for treating feet. You know, I can pull them out of the box, it's dry in here, I can treat the feet, and then put them outside. Right. Without a gloved hand and no right. grease, yeah. yeah. Well, it's certainly an interesting setup. We've always debated trailers versus trucks, but this brings trailer to a, a different level. Well, there are, there are several other trailers in Quebec, mm -hmm. um, but they're not insulated. Like, this one is insulated to make it nice for the people looking at books. Right. So they don't have the problem like I do with keeping it cool. Yeah because there's no insulation, but the floor is insulated, it's roof and the side walls, so it gets warmer in here. Nice. Well, best of luck in your, your rookie Rondi debut, and uh, we hope you can finish up the rest of the days without uh, loading a dog. Right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Randy.